want to know what these are where they are from where i got them from watch the video and you will find out see you in my video <laughs> Well, good morning everybody I got a parcel um this is sent from a friend on Facebook from Tasmania um she knows what I'm going through um and she knows that I'm alone and she wanted to make this Christmas special for me I don't know she did say she was sending me an advent calendar I'm not quite sure. I did not expect a box like this. But I thought I would video it so that I can show her the video and show her how much this means to me to what she has done. I'm not long like up because the, the parcel guy woke me up. Um... See, I haven't made my bed. <laughs> I'm still not dressed. I know I've got to go out later, but I've got an appointment later in a couple of hours, so, but that's all right. So I thought I'll video it. I have a, I don't know what's in this. I don't know what. It takes someone who, not even a member of the family, to send me something like this to make sure that I will have a good Christmas. Um, it's been a while since someone actually gave me anything for Christmas. Um, I mean, it's been a long time. I can't, um, I can't remember when anyone has actually given me anything for Christmas. Um, I'm going back, I'm going back. I cannot remember, you know. That's how long it's been since someone's thought to give me something for Christmas. Um, but it's not the thought of getting a gift, it's the thought that someone just thought that I'm worth buying for. That's all it is, you know? And being alone, even when I was with my ex, she didn't want to spend Christmas with me because I thought she didn't want to be, be with Christmas because, um, she couldn't be with the boys, but because she was living, spent time living, she was living with this woman, and she spent Christmas with her. She had to spend Christmas with her. How could she spend Christmas with me when she's? Oh, it's. Oh. Oh. What she has done, there's a gift for every day. You know, is a gift for every day. This is amazing. Three six. She's is a gift for every day. Five. That's four. This is a this is a advent calendar. Now, what person does this for someone? <sighs> this is amazing. You know, it's just, I was it? I had never met this woman. We are friends on Facebook. Um, she is also a reborn mum. 
This is a present for me to open every day leading up to Christmas. This is... Oh my God. Has anybody ever seen this before? I actually didn't know what to expect in this parcel. So this is, there's 25 little gifts here for me. 25. <gasps> oh my God. <laughs> I didn't know what was going to be in this box. So I had no idea. That's what I, I knew you should send me a, an advent calendar. Um, and something special for Christmas Day, but I did not think it was going to be like this. I tell you, this is amazing. So this is what I'm going to do every day. This will be a part of my advent colour every day. So I'll put them back in, in order, there's one, three, this is amazing, I'm scared to read the card, you know, I'm actually scared to read the card, because it is for someone to do this, she did it because she wants me to feel loved. To know that I am wanted. It's t one, two, three. I'll have to do those. What have I got here? Twenty. Twelve. What have I got here? Where's the rest of them? Fourteen. I'll just put them in. This is going to support. This is going to be an amazing Christmas. For what this lovely lady has done. To make sure that I do have a good Christmas. Um, I have got memories of Christmas as a job as with my blood family, you know, but I have got no memories, really good memories, of have have been with that someone special. I have, you know, I've got no memories really. I've never had anyone decent really who wanted my first ex was an arse and yeah so I've got these one two three which will I'll open because they need to be open um I've got a card Wishing you a Christmas full of joy. Dear Cecilia, wishing you a very Merry Christmas. Lots of love, Denise. Kiss, 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 kiss. That's her name. As I said, she lives in Tasmania. And this is. I'm glad I videoed this. Oh my God. But that any parcel I get now, I will, I will video it because it adds to my channel. And this, oh my god, this is that one's broken through. I didn't, you know, it doesn't worry me what's in these parcels. You know, it's not what's in the parcels. 
it's that she thought got just got these things and wrapped them up and thought to do it this way so they all have everything something to open every day something to look forward to and on I know she told me that she wanted to make something special for Christmas and see what day one I know today is December the 3rd so I'm gonna have to open these <laughs> oh, these always come in handy. Oh, oh, look at this. Oh, my God. The tissues. Oh, yeah, the tissues. But look, what, look who's on it. Tigger. And Eeyore. Eeyore had depression you think I've seen somewhere that with Poo and Tiga and e and Eeyore and Woo and they all had something they all had something wrong with them mental thing. I read that somewhere yeah, everybody loved them Tigger was hyperactive Tissues. Tissues. It's not... Yeah, it's funny, but, you know, it is just so nice. Now, this is going to be interesting. This is... I don't know what this one is. Oh... Dental soap. Look at that. Soap. And some pens. Oh, you know? This is things I can use. But do you know what? I don't know if I will. Now, today is the third. So I've got number three. So what have we got? Oh. Oh. Of course, Tigger. Another tissue. And probably a name thing for your suitcase when you go away, something. You know, this is amazing. As I said, it's not that, it's not when you get gifts, it's not what's in the gift that is important. It's that someone thought enough to go and buy you that gift. That is what the important part is. It does not matter how much that gift costs. I These, these probably, I don't know, what the dollar. It's not the, the price of the gift that counts, it's that they thought to go and buy you something. That is what the important part in gift, gift giving is. Whether the gift giving season, whether it's your birthday, whether it's your mother, your mum, and your some, your pet, your pup, you got something for Mother's Day, at Christmas they gave you something for Christmas. It's not the it's not the cost of the present that counts. It's not the cost. Um, it's that they thought to go and buy you something. That is the important part of gift giving. And that is something that kids today have got to learn that they don't have to have the big expensive view. They don't have to have what then everyone else gives. Look at this. This is, as I said, someone thought to go and buy me this. Where's your Tigger? I love Tigger. I love Tigger. 
I, he is my favourite character out of Winnie the Pooh. You know? My cat was named Tigger. You know? I miss Tigger. Oh, Denise, Denise, Denise. Oh, I've never met her. And just the thought that she did this for me. That is what. Yes, I'm happy. And yes, I'm sad because no one has ever done this for me. No one thought of doing this for me. <sighs> and I'll emphasize this again. It's not the money. It's not the worth behind. It's not what the gift costs. That has nothing to do. But these, this would not have cost much. What the important thing, I will say this again and again, is that she thought to do it for me. That is the important thing. You know? Oh. That is the important thing. And teach teach your kids, teach your grandkids. Let them know if Christmas time, you're lucky any time really. They need to be lucky to get something for their birthday, for Christmas, for Mother's Day, for whatever day it is. Be happy with what you get. If someone thought of you and they thought you needed something, someone decided to buy you a, a pad and some pencils because you like writing, someone decided to buy you something that because buy you this book you wanted because you like reading. Whatever they give you, no matter what it costs, the thing is. They brought it for you. That is the thing behind things, you know. That is the thing behind it. Um, Christmas time, I cannot remember parents. My parents buy me anything. I cannot remember. Um, grandmother, my nana, yes. We used to always get something. I think we'd get a... a would get a card and she would put money in a card. Same for our birthdays. She would put money in a card for our birthdays. It was not the money. It was that she thought to give us a card where our parents never, never gave us anything. I know there was a lot of us, but even something small, maybe a hanky or, I don't know, something small to say, yes, this we appreciate yes we love you yes there was nothing like that in our family and maybe this is what has called my mental look but this is amazing so guys every day this is going to happen i know i've got another one to open up i don't know oh she must think I need some soap don't worry it's a joke oh. as I said she, we have never met you know you know it's terrible being alone it really is it's like Nothing, unless you've been here, unless you're in that presence now, unless you've been there where you have been alone. I mean, there's no one. If I'm, I know, I've got a neighbour. But if, I don't know, it's just not, it's not nice. I did try to make friends on Facebook. I joined a group and I organised a meet-up. And, you know, no one was going. It was only for a morning tea. No one was going. 
And it's like, why? What? I know it's not me, but that's what I think about. What? What is there about me that they that no one wants to be my friend? No one wants to be here for just to go for a cuppa, just to have lunch, and just sit down and watch a movie together. You know, have some fun. I've never had a close girlfriend. You know, I had one. I thought we were friends, but. It always seemed to one sided. I would send her every birthday, I would give something for her birthday. Um, when it was her 30th, I gave her something special for her 30th because her 30th does. They even brought her something for her husband for his 30th. I never, I never forgot to send a Christmas card to her and her husband and her kids. I always sent them five dollars each. Um, Oh, I know sometimes I have to ask her when the kid's birthday was. Yeah, it's understandable. But I would always send her something. Um, but her, she would, she'd forget when my birthday was. And when she did remember, is when she re reminded, she would have to always ask for my address because she didn't, didn't, it seemed like she never wrote my address down and kept that bit of paper, whatever she wrote it on. It's like... <sighs> she was born the year I left school. So she's, what, six, she's 16 years younger than me. Then a few years ago, I got jack of it, you know? I'm, I wasn't asking for a card on your birthday you know what does it cost to go buy a card and put a stamp on it and address it and post it that's all it does mean a lot to get a card from someone who you think is a close friend but in the end it wasn't in the end I thought I had jack of it you know so I just Blocked her on Facebook and that was it. I just broke it completely. Um, I was working at the time and she, one day I got in, into the taxi and there was a message for me to, to contact her. All that stuff. I told the guy if she ever rings again, tell her I'm dead or something. But I never contacted her. And of course, she didn't write because she wouldn't know what my address was, you know. She never knew my address. That is the worst part. She never thought to keep my address. It's like she never thought of me. Once she got married and her kids, that was, I know they do take precedence over everything, but when you got a friend who was, she could have, if I had, a, if I was a bad girl in high school, I would have had a ch then. She could have been my daughter, but it was like, well, friends. When she was getting married, I was the first one she showed her engagement ring to. Um, we took off time from TAFE and went looking for wedding dresses because I knew the Gold Coast, so we went. Um, it's like once she moved away, I know one birthday I rang her I asked her would you like to come spend the day with me for my birthday and she said she would actually guess about to ring me because she was going to do the same thing because she said like no one does anything for my birthday and what happens when she moves away has a family um she forgets me. But that, to her, it, it's like I was not important as I what used to be. It seems like I'm so envious of what she had, what she's got. she got three beautiful kids. And she's got what she wanted, you know? That's, that is... 
the heart of it. I never got what I wanted. I so wanted to be a mum. You know, I so wanted to be a mum. But I got it. My body gave, gave up on me. My body would not allow me to be a mum. You know? Even when I met my first partner, yeah, I knew I was gay. You know, yeah, it was before, it was knew I was gay, but even told him that I was gay. He was shocked that I was, blah. But then he still pursued. No, he didn't pursue me. We would meet up in the street and that. I said he came to my life when I needed someone. That's all he was. You know? And I don't know. This is amazing. So we've got something special like this every day to show you. Oh. It's the day's the 3rd of December. And a mess, uh, a good mess. So everybody out there, think of what I have said. You know, it's not the price of the gift. It's not the price. It's the thought that someone went out and brought this for you brought got something you know people go overboard at christmas it is crazy oh, i have seen things where they buy they should chris birthdays and that they buy their kids all these presents it's like Yes, you you know, I know you love your kids. I know you love your grandkids. Yes, but when it comes, why do you, sh why buy them so many gifts for the birthday or for Christmas? You know? Money is not easy to come by. As long as you, the main part is letting them know, your loved ones know, that you love them and you want them in your life and you appreciate what they do for you. I've never had that. You know, I've never had that. Never had that. Yes, it's sad. It is sad. <sighs> oh, my God. So this box will be shown every day these gifts will go back into the box and they'll be there every day leading up pens pens red black and blue Some tissues. I mean, this is this is amazing. I cannot fathom that you went through this. I know she said she wanted me to have some special stuff. Christmas Day, it's going to be a big mess. I think every day. I know I laugh when I say this because it is funny. But just just to buy those and to buy me some soap. Soap has got expiry date. That's okay. Twenty. Got another couple of years. No, it's less than a year. About eighteen months and some pens. Pens always come in handy. I should go. I gotta go have breakfast. It's probably about 
but after nine o'clock on the 30 December in the morning and I'm hungry I've had my medications actually the guy when he come he actually woke me up I was still asleep he can then I kept come on coming I'm coming. when I see the size of it I thought what's this is amazing Maybe I should go see Denise, you know? I know where she lives. The parcel does her not. I could probably find her and turn up. What does everybody think? Do you, I'm in Coffs Harbour in the mid-north coast of New South Wales. She's in Tasmania. For her to do this, it, I don't know. This is not even Australian. That's okay. I'm Irish. I've got Irish descent. I've got Pommy descent. Well, I think I've got to go because my belly is calling out for food. I've got my other advent calendars that I will do later. I'll see how I do, what time it is. I think I've got plenty of time because I've got a doctor's appointment at 11 o'clock. Um, oh, excuse me. Um, I've been a bad girl this week. Uh. Especially weight-wise. I have been eating... And I have put on a kilo. 1.3 to be exact. I know I have been eating. Um, and I've got to get that under control. I did the first week trying to lose weight. I lost, I lost 800, 800 grams. In the second week I put it on and this week I've also put it on. So I thought I was in the right frame mind but when something um, like the other night when I had that upset I couldn't sleep. I wanted to sleep but I didn't want to sleep. Things still get to me and I'm, I'm still not in the right frame mind. I've just got to watch what I eat and go by that. I mean I ate things I shouldn't have ate. I haven't eaten in ages. You know, so I should go. This is getting a long video for because my worms are hungry. I'm, my stomach is hungry. I've got to go and have my cereal and sit down and relax. And I've got to charge my phone. So I hope you enjoy this. I hope you have got something out of this. She's got tomorrow. Will be late because I'm out tomorrow. I got Waratah to Warat I volunteer tomorrow, day tomorrow, so it'll be something I'll be doing when I get home. And I will, will incorporate this with my other two and advent calendars. So I'll have three things to open up. Can you imagine what this girl did? You know? Being happy. That's it. Being happy. Because Eeyore had depression. And she just got a news bother free day. Forget about your bother free days. I wonder what happened to Roo and Piglet and Owl. And that was Roo. Yeah, so I better go before I get going, before the tears come. You know, it is. I said, I'm starting to get hungry and hungry. So if you're new to my channel, 
welcome and please subscribe and then click the little bell to get notification on new videos and have a good day i've got a new, new subscriber welcome to you um i will be checking out i have checked out um yes i have checked watched the video where you're changing one of your babies um but actually on my phone i out in the lounge room when i did that and i just brought it up on my tv which is good when you've got a smart tv so i will see you in my next video which will be later when i do my other advent calendars but at the moment i've got to go and feed my worms oh in my next video i will be dressed because i want to do this now oh excuse me so thank you for watching my videos thank you for subscribing this is a long video it is a long video so remember it's not what the gift cost it's that they thought to buy you a gift that they appreciate you they love you and that's what christmas is about you know enjoy your days enjoy every day and appreciate the day every day that you're alive because whatever age you are there are people out there there are people who have never gotten to the age you are i have i've got two sisters who passed away and they never got to the age i am so appreciate each uh, each day appreciate everyone in your life remember it's not the cost of the gift it's a thought they gave you a gift that they decided to go they wanted to buy you a gift and they chose a gift for you because they knew you would like it whatever it is that is what gift giving is about so i will see you i will go feed my worms and if you don't know what that means if you do know what that means put it down in the comments you know what you know i'm going to feed my worms they're getting hungry and i've got to go feed them so i will see you in my next video Take care. Bye.